Today I'm going to be explaining Backrooms level 64, which seems to shift and change every time you look away or blink. So unless you don't have to blink, and you can keep your eyes open forever, this level is going to be a confusing one. It's also very well written, and it gives me this really nostalgic sense uh, from the Backrooms of two years ago. It's kind of got that old-timey vibe. I really think you're going to enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? Hey, what's up? It's your boy Brookly here, and I'm just popping in to tell you, go check out and go follow my Twitter. I don't like plugging social medias. I don't even ask you to subscribe or like ever, but I'm going to be announcing something on Twitter very soon. It may or may not involve a plush. Also, while you're down there, if you want to join the Discord, it'll be there as well. I've had the broken link in the description accidentally for like five months now. Twitter, Discord, check them out. Let's get back to the video. Backrooms level 64 is classified as a class 3 survival difficulty and is unsafe and unsecure with a very low entity count. Specifically, there is one type of entity here that I'll touch on in the entity section, but mainly it's the level and the level's properties that are going to be dangerous to you. The level in its simplest form takes the appearance of an infinite house with very dysfunctional lighting and that's just a fancy way of saying that it's dark the level has many many rooms and hallways and staircases and stories to it and it seems like a house of horror that you might go through in your dreams no matter where you go there's going to be another door or a staircase leading to another brand new part that you haven't seen before it just keeps going and going the walls of the level have decorations on them, like ones you'd see from real life, you know, paintings and portraits and that kind of thing, and everything seems like a house. Now, as I said, the entire level is very dark, but it's not that there's no lights that work. I mean, there's lights in the ceiling. It's just that the darkness is like a real thing. It's an effect, and it absorbs all light sources which leaves the level in a kind of dark glow type thing. If you try to use a flashlight or your phone or something like that to light your way, it will not light up very bright. And unless you can see you really well in really dim and dark situations, you're not gonna be able to see much. The structure and layout of this house changes when no one is looking. And the document specifically says when no sentient being is looking. So that means that when anything that's alive is not opening their eyes or looking around, the level will change its layout like a giant Rubik's Cube. And it's not just the layout, it also changes its decorations and design and everything. And this effect will cause wanderers to feel mass amounts of anxiety and paranoia, and you kind of just feel like something's watching you from the darkness every time this happens. This level also often induces the feelings of nyctophobia, which is the irrational fear of the dark. And even if you don't have that now, when you get to this level, it'll probably give it to you. The furniture inside of the level seems to be pretty normal compared to real life, and the only really different thing is that they're all covered in mold and rot. Everything is just decaying, it seems, and it gives off a really disgusting smell to the whole level. There's also dust all over every surface you touch here, and even when the level layout changes and it shifts how it looks, there's still dust. The hallways in this level are pretty small and very strange, and they often lead to other empty, strange rooms. Some parts of the level are completely 100% dark, but in other parts, there's this kind of dark glow that lights everything up just barely. Like when you squint really hard, you'll be able to see. But most of the level is fully dark. There's also some weird anomalies with the nature of this level, and you'll start to notice them when you walk around and try to escape it. Specifically, the geometry, of course, is very non-Euclidean, as a lot of backrooms levels are. Some of the hallways have been reported to be upside down, as well as some of the staircases upside down, and many of the fixtures have been seen on the ceiling, and everything's inverted of how it should really be, and it's just very, very confusing to be in. Nothing makes sense. And it makes even less sense that everything changes when you go in a fully dark spot and can't see or when you blink and look away if you physically cannot see anything the level is changing right before your eyes there's also sections of the hallways in this house that appear to be voids like the hallways themselves are voids that you can walk through 
black voids. So this entire house in general was very dangerous because you could get trapped in these dark spots and have to just feel your way around. Kind of like how level six is completely dark, except this level you're confined to these houses and rooms and hallways. The only entity that's been seen on this level is one that's been nicknamed the Lurkers. And in an essence, these are large humanoid worm-like creatures that are around six feet tall. Kind of a cross between a human, a worm, and a centipede. Some of them have been reported as being 20 feet tall, which is a little crazy, but who knows? It's the back rooms. Lurkers have a ton of little legs on the bottom of them that kind of help them walk up and down and crawl on surfaces that you wouldn't think would be possible. And they hide in the extremely dark spots in this level. The good news is, is that they're pretty rare to find and they only attack if they see you. It actually seems like they cannot hear at all, like they don't have ears or anything, so they don't use sound to hunt, they use some sort of nighttime vision in their eyes, like dogs and cats have in real life, to hunt their prey. And if they see you, they will attack on sight, so just be wary of that. But yeah, that's the only entity that you might be able to see. If you avoid the pitch black areas, you should be safe, I hope. Now, the level's effects of changing and shifting aren't just for you, they also are the same for these entities. So if you see a creature and then you look away, the level will shift and you won't see it anymore because it'll be moved. The only problem is you will also be moved and your entire surroundings will look different and it's going to be really hard to explore when you have no idea where you are. So through an unknown means, level 64 can actually transform itself back into a normal sized house that's not infinite at all anymore. And it does this completely randomly without any warning, like it just shrinks down to a regular house. And it never lasts for long, but this is the most important stage of the house's shifting because during this stage is the only opportunity you have to make your exit. As far as bases go on this level, there are actually several ruins of old abandoned bases that are inside deep hallways and deep basement areas from previous groups that have tried to put up camp and stay here, but because of lurkers attacking and the level changing so much, they had to leave. But to be honest, I don't know why you would set a base up here. That doesn't seem like a good idea. To enter this level, you have to go into an elevator on a random level, and you'll have the opportunity to be sent here, or you can go into a cellar on level 98 to be sent here as well. So to exit the level, and to avoid being eaten by a giant worm human, you actually have to wait for the level to go into its normal shrinking state, where it's regularly sized, and then you have to walk out the front door as fast as possible, but this only lasts for a few seconds. And when you walk out the front door, you'll seemingly be on level 9. But yeah, I shifty house with non-euclidean features and strange inverted void geometry and a weird human worm creature that stalks from the shadows oh and don't forget the fear inducing effects and crippling anxiety that the level gives you sounds pretty fun to me i no it doesn't never mind all right everybody thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like i would appreciate it comment below which levels that you want to see me go over i'm always looking to add more to the schedule if you are looking for more content from me that's not Brugly content, check out Toogly, my second channel. I upload reactions with this format and kind of rants and gaming videos and that kind of stuff. And if you want more creepy stuff from me, go check out my third channel, Spoogly, where I upload internet mysteries, creepy stuff, cryptids, and yeah, y'all, that kind of stuff. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you all later. Bye.